Okay. my little Christmas elves and you have no idea how hard it was to have all the stars align to be in front of the camera showered hair washed speaking to you today and don't mind the background ambience this is my little shadow who is uh, helping me out for today's very very exciting video I have been so looking forward to today's video because I get to unashamedly delve into Christmas. They say what you consume consumes you and at this time of year I just indulge in all things to do with the festive season and if you don't celebrate Christmas it's Festivus as Jerry Seinfeld would say. A Festivus for the rest of us. Always inclusive as much as possible on my channel. We have one brow up and one brow down, but I don't have time to correct it because around here time is not an unlimited resource and neither is my brow gel for that matter because I can't find it. Okay, here it is. When Christmas season hits, I literally eat, sleep and breathe Christmas carols. They become quite impossible to live with. I think it's one of my more endearing qualities brings out the warmth in me. Others might say over the top. I need an accessory. I think pearls and Christmas go together. I don't know how this has been hanging the entire time and yet it still needs untangling. The joys of having three children under six. Exhibit A. Child number three is sorting through my ring collection. Thank you very much darling. I was almost going to give this necklace up to the gods, but lucky I unraveled it. I am no quitter. Okay, that's better. Can't forget the Christmas accessories. Also trialing a festive design for my potential Christmas nails. Let me know what you guys think. I'm usually a gold girl, but silver seems to be quite appropriate for the New Year season as well. I had to pick up some more of my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. I've run completely out. And we do not want to look like the Grinch that stole Christmas, so I think a bit of hydration is needed. Oh, this is a full size. I've been living off this little sample the entire time. Well, goodbye. Oh, that, that landed in the eye. Okay, where's my fan? Ah, much better. Much more glowy. For those of you who can relate, I feel that, sorry, I'm bending down far too low. This mirror just never stays in place. Over the past few years, I feel like we've been so stressed and busy that I haven't had that full month to enjoy the pre-Christmas. And this year, I really want to bring this into my life, a little bit of Christmas foreplay. And I mean that in the most non-erotic way possible. So I'm doing something completely foreign. This year, I'm going to bring the Christmas decor game, which is, let's face it, what brings Christmas to the home, apart from your loved ones, of course. I'm going to bring the Christmas decor game into the boudoir. We spend 50% of our lives in bed, so I thought, why not? Not to mention this is one area in the house that I get to have my stamp on and get to have a semi sense of control over. So, 
I'm very excited for this bedroom makeover Christmas edition. So over the past few weeks, I have been doing a little bit of reconnaissance, getting inspired. And today I think I'm going to go and just suss out a few more extra shops, pick up some stuff that was on hold for me and do a little Christmas decor haul slash makeover. Well, little, I use the word little, the word haul says it all. Oh my goodness, that's a Christmas rhyme. <laughs> In time all right I'll, I'll stop there my sense of humor is a uh, quite an acquired taste now I'm having a lipstick crisis I have run out of lipsticks the one that I've been using on repeat was the shadeo sample I think it was the shade 525 and I don't know why but now that it is summer well spring summer around these parts I feel like I need a lipstick to make my lips pop I'm over the nudes I'm over the neutrals or the deep berries I really want something that's going to really bring a bit of life to my face so I am borrowing something from mum's little makeup drawer which she has quite a few nice things now I've never tried this before it's a Chanel shade 161 Chintilantes. I probably butchered that. And a Lacura Aldi Mineral Lipstick as the base. And I love my Lacura Mineral Lipsticks. They only come around a few times a year. So I think I'll begin with this and then maybe add the Chanel over the top. That is definitely a pop of color in my books gotten the obligatory lipstick in the teeth sit you that is perfect I've got this in the shade blush let's pop a little bit of Chanel over the top so this is like a glittery very over the top Barbie pink and just a little bit in the middle to highlight the most voluptuous parts perfect I swear every year I turn more and more into my mother. Talk to me about two years ago, I would never wear a bright lipstick and uh, look at me now. Hopefully she won't realize these are missing from her collection. Okay, I'm quite surprised myself that I am ready. Let me show you my Christmas shopping outfit. Now keep a mental note of this space because this is all changing by the end of this vlog. Quick little shopping outfit. This was a little treat to myself for my birthday and this dress for me has the three P's. It's pink, it has puffed sleeves and most importantly it has pockets. This little find is in linen and it's from Forever New which is a brand that I shop far and few between but I had a birthday discount voucher so I thought I might indulge in something very foreign to me which is pink which is quite lacking in my wardrobe I'm not a pink girl but when you have a tan and it's this time of year why not add a pop of color my accessories for today are also a little birthday treat which is the Hallie straw bag and I thought this was also something missing from my wardrobe which is a nice structured straw bag I have very casual ones like my Loewe here but I thought this would make a nice little addition. It comes with a crossbody strap, but you can also make it, as you can see, adjustable like a shoulder bag and with a nice tan leather accent. So this is my bag of choice for my Christmas shopping. And I've simply adorned my feet with my H&M flats, which I have been wearing on repeat. In fact, I've been wearing them so much, I might have to order a second pair because they're not real leather but they are so, so comfortable and so versatile. And if you're wondering what the debris is uh, left behind me, that is the trails of my little one playing with his most recent birthday present, as well as we share a very close birthday. And it's these lovely little dump trucks and a crane. Just the remnants of the chaos that constantly surrounds me. So I'm going out now to collect all my things that were on hold for me. In the next clips, I'm going to show you my Christmas reconnaissance because I have been doing so much research leading up to today. So I will include the clips of that. And then when I come back, we'll be putting it all together with, of course, probably some things that I unexpectedly found whilst I was out because I can't help myself. 
I am an impulsive shopper and I love me that way. All of my outfit links will be in the description box below if any of you out there are interested. I'm just gonna try these on by the way. I might feature these on my Instagram. It's an advent calendar. Oh my goodness, the kids would absolutely love that. Okay, that's very tempting. But then again, the so most things for me at Christmas time. <laughs> I am a sucker. going to hide this ugly parcel aside whilst we get to the rest of the haul. So excited. It's not a lot but it's a lot. So as you can see I got minimally distracted with some of the bits and pieces I had seen whilst doing my reconnaissance but we have come back with a edited version of what we need to just slightly bring a bit of festive Christmas energy to this bedroom. So let's begin with the small things and then we'll get to the big thing over there, <laughs> the elephant in the room. So I had a bit of a moment at Kmart because Kmart does Christmas well. I feel like they do Easter better than they do Christmas. That's my opinion. And I found a few little treasures in there. So let's begin with the decor and then let's get to the uh, attire pieces that I happened to spot whilst I was out. So let's commence the Kmart portion of the Christmas decor video. I picked up these two what they call tree picks. They come in a lovely pearlescent white with a natural stem and tied with a natural string at the bottom and I thought this would make a nice addition to my makeup table. So I will be doing that up later on in this video. Then I spotted a Christmas bead garland and I thought this would be quite nice to put on top of my bookcase and I might accompany this with some fairy lights. I think I have to buy some batteries. Excuse the unboxing ASMR. Quite hard plastic. I don't know if this is a thing really. I don't quite like the sound. Uh, but this is what it looks like in a nutshell. A really nice snowflake detail with some natural beads sewn in. So I might just gather that in sections on my bookcase. Some very minimal Christmas foliage for what I had in mind next to my bedside table. Also referred to as a tree pick, a Merry Christmas sign. I'm not quite sure where to put this. I do not like text, but I thought it would be good filler. A pine cone lantern which I picked up for six dollars. 
let's see if it actually flickers. Oh my goodness, it does. It looks so realistic. I think I'll have to go pick them up in the black and perhaps a double of the white one. Some solar powered Hessian present boxes for decor purposes. I will not be putting these outside. Uh, I might just pop some fairy lights inside to make them work in my bedroom. Now to the things that I didn't need but wanted. I picked up two pairs of these reindeer slippers. How cute, what a novel idea and I'm just a sucker for novelty. Picked two or three of these pairs up because I thought this would make great Christmas gifts. I did quite well in the fashion department. Kmart fashion has just been surprising me lately. The price point is just so fantastic. Kmart fashion has really amped up the game. They're using natural fibers, which you can find in other retailers, but other retailers are marking them up. So I picked this little setup in red. Now I love red, but I do not wear red, but I thought this would be a really practical option for the very, very hot Christmas that we usually have down under. And it's a little short and shirt puff sleeve little set, which I also got with the accompanying summer hat. I just couldn't resist. So I will try that piece on for you. And as you saw, there were many other items that I tried on in store, which some of them I actually picked up as well, but that will come in a separate video. I thought this would make the very practical matching set just appropriate for Christmas day when we're outside getting sprinkled from the outdoor hose, trying to keep cool on a very hot summer's day. Now for the more extravagant items of the haul, we have a little find from Bed Bath & Table. I will show you a sneak peek through the bags, but we have here what appears to be a Alpine Christmas tree. More of that and the placement of this to come. But whilst I put this aside, let's talk some more decor. To go with said potential Christmas tree in the bedroom, which I know is so extra, but part of my charm. I have picked up some decorations to go with the new bit of greenery in our bedroom, which is this lovely tree pick. White and gold comes with some beautiful gold beads in the center. So that will be going on. Very minimal decorations here. And this beautiful mosaic bell. I have had lack of control over our Christmas decor for many a year. We are still residing in my mum's house and we have been utilizing what she has in storage. But this year I thought I would actually go and purchase some individual Christmas bells that I will use for years to come. So very excited to actually make the vision a reality with you. Oh my Lord, I'm just hearing myself. A Christmas tree in the bedroom. I am so extra. Please don't mind the adult walking child on your way out. Another thing I picked up randomly. So these are two random finds. This is from Aldi and this is a LED lighting set and I thought this would go quite nicely with my little bronze rail that I have right next to me here. It's got, actually got silver bells on it but I thought the light that it gives is actually a warm light so I thought it might go quite well with the bronze railing here and add a bit of contrast as well. And this piece here which is quite unique, I actually picked this up from my nail technician. She has a homeware store as well and it's this beautiful embellished green lantern. Let me just turn it on for you. This is not just for the festive season. I think I could see this in my bookcase all year round. Such a beautiful antique oil burner lantern style. My grandmother has lots of oil burner lanterns in her home. This is battery operated obviously, but I just sort of gave quite the antique vintage feel that I want to give to my bedroom. So we're going to be adding this as well. And this, ooh, <laughs> oh dear. I think I knew this when I picked it up. 
it's a little bit battered this one but it was the nicest looking out of the bunch there we are all repaired this lovely little hessian based Christmas tree which I thought again would make a nice little addition to my bedside table ensemble and it actually lights up which I wasn't aware how beautiful and festive is this I'm just getting the warm fuzzies just being next to this tree and I picked this up for $16 other stores have been selling it for about 40 I am so happy with this beautiful little pine addition. And from the grave, I have dug out some old Christmas decorations that I did purchase for the intention of putting them in our new home, but why not live for the now? I'm all for that because I'm sick of waiting. And it's these beautiful feathered baubles, which are a little bit pearlescent if you can see here. And I thought this would complement the very snowy alpine tree behind me. So, as my favourite saying suggests, without further ado, let's decor this place up. Don't let this alarm you like it alarms me. This will all be placed appropriately in time. But because for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be getting very hands-on, I think I'm going to don my new little Christmas two-piece. So I'm taking you from semi-glam to practical household attire. This is the Kmart set on all glammed up. For reference, the top was 25, the shorts were 15, and the slippers were $10. Again, appropriate for a lovely festive gift. I might even add a belt to just elevate this outfit on the day, but this is just a wonderful outfit to run around after the children, lots of room for a very comforting, hearty Christmas lunch uh, because of the sharing detail and a lovely pleat that comes out from the waist, uh, which again allows room for the voluptuous food baby, which I am so excited for. And we have a reindeer Christmas slippers. I can't help but zoom in. They are just adorable. And don't mind the scar on my leg. Christmas shopping workplace injury. Such a practical yet glamorous mum outfit for a day full of fun with the children and family because at the end of the day this is what it's all about having fun with the children and letting them enjoy a very special wonderful family day i don't often show you this side of the room because it's a little bit cluttered and i do want to get rid of a lot of books that i have here but this is my humble bookshelf where i all started filming on youtube I have switched out a few things. So down the bottom here, I have added some peonies and these are bunches from Kmart. I think they're about $3.50 a bunch. And I've added two bunches to an antique rose vase, which I actually used for my wedding, also from Kmart. But I thought I'd repurpose them and stick some new peonies in these. I had some light pink ones in there, but swapped them out for some more trans-seasonal colors. As we go up, we have an attempt at trying to decor the chaos of books. And we have my perfume collection up here, some memorabilia, some manga, because that's a story for another day. I'm very into manga. Now, at the top, we have uh, wedding documents, wedding memorabilia. We have some white bulbs. We have my husband's old traveling bag. It's a bit of a mess. So what I thought I'd do just to Christmas car this upper section up, I thought I'd put the Kmart Christmas garland across the top and just get rid of all of this because I actually hate looking at it when I'm lying in bed. So good excuse for me to just tidy this up and make it a bit more festive. I'm using my makeup stool as my ladder today, which is a little bit of a Oh, h &S issue, but we need to get these boxes down and in a hurry, so let's see what's up there. My husband seems to be the culprit. Electrical principles. Goodbye. That was great ASMR. Light bulbs. Old, of course.
Skyline GTR. Not interested. Empty plastic bag. I'll still blame that on him. He's not here to defend himself. Oh. This is Baby Bian slash travel bag. Oof. And wedding memorabilia. That hurt. Baby wipes. The resolution to any cleaning problem. I'll just dust the top of the ledge. I won't even go into how much dust is up there, but uh, we will try our best. Yeah. I would lovingly spend all day dusting this bookshelf. However, as Affa mentioned, I am time poor and this will do. Okay. Okay, masking tape. Let's get this garland up. Christmas garland is up. Don't mind the masking tape. Okay, I think I've made a good attempt at hiding the masking tape. So that looks a little bit more cohesive. Now let's place the olive green lamp. And this is my take on adding a bit of festivity to a bookshelf. I have my lovely olive green lamp which will look beautiful in the dim light which I will take some footage of after we are finished and the garland is beautifully placed. I would love to add some fairy lights to this. I just need to get some batteries later on. to sadly transform my little oasis of the bedroom which is this space back here which I will move so you can see my dried foliage space so I'm going to Christmas this up which I'm quite excited about with a few bits and pieces that I have picked up and one of them I have not shown you so you will see that next to the corner of the bedroom I have the Hessian pine from Kmart and this lovely golden reindeer which I got from bed bath and table which I didn't introduce to you prior but I thought it needed a little bit of height to this area then I've added the tree picks to the base and a tea light with an electric tea candle from Kmart which I had prior and this is the finished little festive space to the bedroom but first bonus decor round i forgot to mention i also have a christmas wreath to put up in the room also now the plan was that i place it here above the bed instead of my usual movie posters i have never really hung anything on a wall before and it seems like a rather simple process i mean how hard could it be but first let's unbox this wreath i've actually been storing this for quite a few years and just waiting for the opportunity where we would need to hang it and it just occurred to me that perhaps the bedroom might be the most perfect place and because it is such a natural looking wreath oh my goodness it actually smells like like forest pines and twigs 
Mm. You could probably use this as a decor piece in your home all year round or perhaps seasonally for autumn. Oh, it's getting lots of dust all over the bed. I didn't quite think this through, but here is the wreath in question. And just look at the detail. It's got some beautiful, I'm not sure if they're kind of a blue bottle brush situation and some blueberries and some lovely white eucalypt berries here and some eucalypt leaves thrown in in the spray and the regular eucalypt but what an amazing wreath and really natural looking in fact I think they're real twigs now the great thing about this wreath is that it's quite bendy so I can fan this out and make it look a lot more full than it is which is really great but uh, very excited to see how this is going to look above the bed. So, for the bonus decor round, let's give this a try. Oh, I have to give this another smell. It just smells like Christmas decorations. I love that smell. Just old and twiggy. Not the best scent to advertise Christmas, but I like it. Okay, there seems to be no place to physically hang the wreath. I think I might have to get some string and tie a bit of a loop so I can actually hang it on the wall. But apart from that, it seems quite a simple process. Now I just have to find a strong enough string so it won't fall down on top of us while we're sleeping. <laughs> Found some cooking twine in the drawer. Looks like a nice natural fibrous color. So I might double it up. It looks rather thin. Might do a double string and see if that works. Okay, all right, string tied. Here goes nothing. And I think the little one approves, but this is how it looks. Sorry for the messy bed, but it's been clambering all over it. I don't know why I have not done this sooner. It just goes so perfectly with the bedding, natural leaves, a touch of blue, the greens tying in with the cushions. Just so perfect with this particular bedding set. But I have a funny feeling this might stay here beyond Christmas. Excellent result. I'm quite chuffed with this. And if I wanted to make it more Christmassy, or if you wanted to make it more Christmassy, if you wanted to hang a wreath above the bed, which I've never seen done before, so this could be an OG. Probably not though. There are probably many that have walked the path before me in terms of putting a wreath up above the bed. But any excuse to make me feel a little bit more important or self-important, I'll take it. And sorry, my idea, I do babble, was to add a few fairy lights around the interior to perhaps give it that little bit of a Christmas glow. I am out of AA batteries because I have used them for basically every other light up appliance that is going to come next in this video but when I get them I will show you what it may look like with a few lights and if we decide to go down that path
And here is the complete for now Christmas bedroom decor. I am just blown away. I've got my little hessian present corner. I've got my beautiful alpine tree complete with golden trimmed flower picks and mosaic baubles. Kept it very unadorned and simple just to give a little bit of lightness to this area. Then at the top, the Christmas sign from Kmart and the garland actually goes perfectly. Yeah. The tones just marry so well with the antique white of this room. Just censoring the aftermath of filming. And here is the, sorry, that's my little one in the background. This is my makeup station looking ever so cozy with this beautiful flickering lantern. I am obsessed with how the rail looks with these LED lantern lights from Aldi which come with a 12 month warranty. They even look beautiful through the straw hat. And in the farthest corner the hessian trimmed pine tree from Kmart with a lovely golden reindeer flower picks and a lovely little LED tea light to top things off. And let's not forget the alpine green oil burner style lantern in this bookcase cavity. And that is a hard day's work, well earned. Now when I rest in bed, if I ever do rest in bed, oh, that sounds quite wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I assure you, it's because of the baby. He sleeps with us. I can look around the room and at least feel the feelings of Christmas, which is coming fast. So I suggest you all get prepared as early as possible so you get to enjoy that Christmas foreplay. <laughs> for at least a month before it arrives because as we all know it comes and goes so quickly and I for one would like to really prolong it this year and just feel the feelings and get reminded of family, good times and the future, an exciting future to come. So whatever Christmas or the end of year means to you, I hope it's a good one. I highly suggest investing in a little bit of decor just to light up your space, turn those lamps off, put those little fairy lights on and enjoy a cozy festive time of year wherever you are. <laughs> Farewell for now as per usual all items will be in that description box and I will see you in the next vlogmas. I'm gonna go take a thumbnail now. I'm feeling very very inspired. <laughs>